Hey, my name is Trisha Causey, and today is Thursday, so I thought I would post a Theater Thursday video, and uh, it's actually based off something I got off um, um, on Facebook. Um, it was a conversation I was having with a friend of mine in Canada, and uh, basically I had, uh, I had had a rehearsal, a music rehearsal earlier today, and as part of the rehearsal, my daughter was with me, she was helping out, and uh, anyway, he liked the picture, and... Uh, I call her my executive assistant because she's just wonderful, and um, and he he made this comment that um, that working for me must be challenging, and I told him absolutely, of course it's challenging because I'm 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 mean I'm horribly mean and <laughs> demanding, and uh, I was half joking, but he. Um, he wasn't sure if I was joking, but my point is this, and I put this on the picture on my, my Facebook page, and I'll read exactly what I wrote. Um, I, I had originally said that I have to be mean so the real world will seem easy compared to me. And, uh, and he said, oh, you rock, Trish. Um, and I replied, my approach is that if a student survives training with me, they will survive the outside world. That is really what I think. Uh, the arts is no place for people who are weak. Regardless of how talented they are, they'll get chewed up and spat out because the business doesn't give a rat's ass. So if when the business does that, because it happens to all of us eventually, I want my students to be okay, to know who they are and be grounded in their abilities and not to be afraid to pursue their dreams in other ways. Being in the arts is just difficult. And whether you make it or not has nothing to do with how talented you are sometimes. Sometimes it's luck, it's knowing the right people, being in the right place at the right time because you can have all the best training, you can have such great natural instincts, natural talent and if you're not in the right place at the right time you'll just never have the same opportunities than someone who is. I personally have seen and experienced People who are less talented, less talented than I am make it and get great opportunities just because of certain circumstances that were outside of my control at the time. And it's always difficult to deal with that, but rejection is just a part of the business. And that, I think, is the hardest thing for people to deal with in the theater or any of the performing arts is the rejection. You cannot take the rejection personally. You have to just know that it's a business. The business is an intangible, inanimate object, but it's very real. And there are millions, literally millions and millions of people who have attempted to make it in whatever genre of the performing arts that they love, and they never have. And some of the most talented people ever born, you'll never hear about them but they might have steady careers out in the hinterlands uh, because they, they somehow figured out or life went a certain way where they realized New York, I don't have to go to New York for theater, I don't have to go to LA uh, for film, that there are opportunities around the country and around the world and the internet has certainly helped with that but um, you know I try to tell my students I mean on purpose and it's because I want you to be able to survive the business. I don't want my students to get out there in the real world and not be prepared simply because they had me as a teacher and all I did was ever encourage them. Encouragement is important. Honesty is important as well. And, um, you know, I want my students to be able to go from my studio to the real world with some kind of foundation of what it's really like. And uh, that only comes from a teacher who understands how difficult it is and uh, that, you know, um, to, to relay the journey because everybody's journey is different. And, uh, you know, again, the business, the business doesn't care. The business is not a person. The business is not a human being. The business doesn't care. So I have to care, and I do care. I care about my students. I want their well-being to be intact while they pursue a career. 
in the theater or music or dance or you know, whatever part of the performing arts on stage or backstage on the production production end as well you know um, I want them to be able to survive the business because not everyone <laughs> survives in the business but I want them to be able to overcome the rejection and overcome whatever disappointments there may be because those disappointments are there for every single person Disappointments have been there for every person who's famous, who've, who's ever won an award that you've ever seen on TV, on stage, on film. Disappointments and rejection have been there for every single person. So I want my students to have a foundation on which they know who they are and that they know what's important and that they stay grounded in what's important to help them survive the business. So, all right, so that's Theater Thursday. Um, just wanted to talk a little bit about what was on a conversation on Facebook today. So um, if you're young, if you are uh, looking to go to college, if you are a person who's always dreamt of going into the performing arts and just never did or life never um, offered you those opportunities or maybe you had to raise your kids first, I understand that too. Um, you know, um, contact me for lessons because I'm always willing to share and uh, to teach somebody and uh, I uh, look forward to hearing from you. So leave a message below if you want to talk. I always love getting comments below so uh, do that and we will start up a conversation because I think it's important that everyone understand that rejection is normal in this business. Don't take it personally and uh, working with me, I'm really mean but at least you'll be prepared and you'll be able to come out of the business with yourself intact. So anyway, all right, I will see you tomorrow for another video every day here in 2015. So y'all take care. Bye.